Alice in Wonderland, Ladybird First Favorite Tales. One hot summer's day, Alice and her sister sat under a tree. Alice's sister opened a book. Alice leaned over it and take a look. Boring. No pictures, she said. It's boring. She closed her eyes in the shade of a tree. Alice woke up. She saw a flash of white fur. A rabbit in a jacket was rushing past her. Oh dear, he said. I'm late, I'm late. Wait, wait. Alice jumped up. A talking rabbit wearing clothes, she said. I'll follow him and see where he goes. I'm late, I'm late. The white rabbit darted down a hole in the ground. Alice scampered after him. Down, she fumbled. Oh, oh, how far will I go? Down, 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 she fell. Until she landed on the bottom with a great big bump, biting the ground with a louder thump. Alice could see a tiny door, but to reach it, she had to lie on the floor. It was locked. Alice saw a key on the table. I will use that to open the door. How can I be small? Then she saw a bottle marked, drink me. If I drink this potion, perhaps it will shrink me. Alice drank the potion. Now she was too small, the key was too high. You're much too small. Alice suddenly noticed a cake beside her. That will make me grow, she said. Here I go. But the cake made her too big. No, I'm too big. The next minute, the walls and the door were gone. There Alice stood looking out a beautiful wood. The white rabbit had gone. All Alice could see was a cat or a cat growing high up in a tree. Maybe the white rabbit went to see the March Hare, said the cat, pointing. He lives just over there. There was a tea party going on at the March Hare's house. He had invited his friends, the Mad Hatter and the Dormouse. The Mad Hatter was noisy and full of chatter, but the Dormouse had fallen fast asleep. <sighs> With no sign of the white rabbit, Alice decided to stay and have some tea. The Mad Hatter was all of a flutter because he had found some crumbs in the butter. It was the best butter, said the March Hare. Alice decided she had had enough of all this silly silly stuff. She came to a garden. What a strange sight, she said. The gardeners were painting the white roses red. White roses cannot be seen by Her Majesty the Red Queen. All at once the white rabbit appeared. He blew a trumpet and a queen dressed in red marched up and shouted, Oh, Featherhead, this is my garden. I am the Queen of Hearts. You don't belong here. Alice said, You're just a pack of cards. I'm not scared of you. The pack of cards flew up into the air. Alice quickly opened her eyes. She looked all around. She was back with her sister safe and sound. It was just a dream. You've had such a long sleep, her sister cried. And such a strange dream. Alice quietly replied and she told her sister all about it. Thanks for listening.